Hi everyone. Uh, here I have two circuits. This is a brand new circuit here. It's kind of ugly, but this is my prototype. I filled it with rubberized potting compounds so that uh, none of the connections come loose and it's completely waterproof. You can put it in the engine compartment and then you can submerse it in water and it doesn't matter. It won't uh, affect the, the operation of the circuit at all. And we have four connections. We have a 12 volt positive coming from the battery of the car or a switch 12 volt circuit in the car, ground. This one here is incoming from the O2 sensor. This is outgoing to the ECU. This other circuit I built and it's just for bench testing this circuit. This circuit here, what it does is it uh, mimics the O2 sensor exactly. So since this unit by itself cannot really be bench tested, without an external power source, what I've done is I've made this uh, O2 sensor simulator so that I can hook it up to this and you can see exactly how it works. I'll be right back and show you how it works. Okay, I'm back and this is what we have going on here. I have this circuit running, the O2 simulator running, and if you look here, I have the O2 simulator is going on to the input, which comes into the unit, processes it, and it comes out of the output of the unit. And the output just gets run to the lead of my voltmeter. So you see, with power to the unit, it's now pulsing between 0.96 and about 0.39 or 0.29. Now, if power is turned off to this unit, what happens? We're going to take the power away from the unit and keep power on the O2. Then the voltage from this unit just travels straight through and out. When the power is removed from the circuit, the power just goes straight through the circuit and out, and it stays at the normal pulse. So if the O2 sensor in your car is reading 0 0.86, 0 0.87, to 0 0.19, 0 0.18, whatever it's running, it doesn't matter. If what, however it fluctuates, it's irrelevant. It, it, uh, the computer sees what the O2 sensor is putting out. And as soon as the voltage is applied to this circuit, and I'll hook it up again, As soon as voltage is applied to both, as you see here, it starts to fluctuate higher. And there's a potentiometer here where you can turn it to adjust the pulse higher or lower. Um, the good thing about this is you can measure the voltage coming into the unit and the voltage going out of the unit. You can see the voltage coming from the O2 sensor and the voltage coming from the enhancer box. And this is just a prototype. The normal circuit will be in a box just like all the other boxes that I make. It'll be, uh, you'll be able to put it in the driver's compartment and adjust it by hand on the fly. Or you could have one similar to this. It'll be much neater than this that you can put in the engine compartment and, uh, you know, hands free. You won't ever have to worry about it or touch it or see it. And that's it.